If you're gay, then you're gay. Don't pretend that you're straight. You could be who you are any day of the week. Hey, what's up, you guys? Sound like one, two, four, five here. Welcome back to GSA Forever. So, yesterday, we read through Cole, Chapter 20, Cole Knight, and Car Ride, and Drake has been silent. So, yeah, here's the last part of Chapter 20. I insist on playing Kesha the whole way. And he smiled. Uh, he smiled, knowing I was sick of listening to her. Hoping it would cheer him up. I convinced him to listen to the music all the way back. But I only counted three smiles the whole way. And it was dead silent. He didn't even listen. My heart sank every time. I looked over him and didn't see him smiling. I even tried starting up a conversation, but he wouldn't answer my questions or reply to my comments with at least words possible. Drake, what's wrong? Chapter 21. Close call and wrong turns. Drake's point of view. I almost gave everything away last night. I can't believe I cried like that. Why did I ever... Why did I have to lose it then? When Jay had to see me and feel obligated to help me. Oh well, it's over. It's okay. I'm okay. He's okay. We're all okay. I might as well act like it. I swung the door open a week a week and a half later, hoping I seem normal again. My bruises were starting to fade. At least maybe... Maybe I could go to the pool soon. Yeah, anyways. I swung the door open and Jay was packing. I had completely forgotten Christmas break started tomorrow. I sat on my bed, watched him after exchanging a wave and a smile. Wow, he, he has such a perfect smile. He barely shows he barely shows his teeth, which makes me which makes me smile even shyer than than he is. And the small dimples always get to me. Damn it. Sucks being in love with a straight guy. Jay is straight, right? He hadn't noticed me staring. But, for some reason, looked over, and when I let a self-pity sigh mean his, mean his eye, I smiled back. So where does your sister live? I guess I was hoping he wasn't traveling too far away from me. Not too far away, about an hour, he said. I can't wait. I miss, I miss Carly and my, and my aunt. What about you? Where's your family? Aren't you staying with them? Shit, shit, shit. Quick, say something. They don't live, they don't live, uh, my dad doesn't, this is true, except the part about my dad, pretty much, is my only family, and I don't want to spend any time with him. He gave me a confused, kind of concerned expression, 
So you're not going anywhere? I mean, I know you have friends and everything, but aren't most of them going somewhere too? I shrugged. I didn't know what to say, really, 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 say, really. I'll be fine. I smiled. I won't be fine without, I won't be fine, it won't, I won't be fine without you. Well, if you want to stay at my place, I have a room for you. Plus, I'm sure my sister and aunt would love to meet you. He said, be, began taking clothes out of the dresser and piled them next to his bag. I knew he mentioned me in his letter to his sister. He told his aunt about me, too. I think my heart nearly stopped. Seriously? I can't help but start laughing in excitement. That'd be, that'd be fan freaking tastic I didn't even care that he laughed the whole frickin' fan fr fan frickin' tastic thing. I was too excited. We were gonna have a blast. I prom I promised him through quiet laughs. You're the best, I said, laying back, sign happily sighing. He really was the best. J20 view. Get up, get up, get up. I slowly lifted my eyelids to see Drake jumping up and down on my bed. I rolled over and covered my ears with my pillow. Not a smart move. I suddenly felt my body hit the floor, and Drake was standing in the bed wide-eyed, about to take off running for his life. That's the face he made when I when he did something accident accidentally on purpose. Drake, I couldn't stop laughing. You look I'm pointing you look like I'm pointing a knife at you. I was cracked up and I walked over, offering a hand and laughing too. Sorry, Hagrid, but we gotta get out of here. It's break time. Looks like a long, like a long break time. He even went to the length of opening our window and shouting, "Christmas break! Fuck yeah!" He had to tell me to calm down from laughing too hard. We decided to take Drake's car. Actually, Drake made the decision, and I guess I let him. He said that we wanted to drive together so it doesn't get so he doesn't get lost. I guess I I think he just loves his car too much to leave it behind. I can't say I blame him though. I like my car way more than mine. I like his car way more than mine too. Even though I gave him directions the entire way, he still made wrong turns and it made me smile because I knew I would have done the exact the same ex the exact same thing. This is your house? He asked, running towards into the driveway. Damn, that is nice, he grinned. I tried. I mean, it's a decent home, I guess. I smiled back at him, and he was staring in awe. He snapped out of his gaze when I slid out the car and dragged my stuff from the trunk. I opened the back and laughed, remembering that Drake packed a massive pile of stuff. Drake, you pack like a girl, I said, laughing a little. He didn't respond, but smiled real big. I sometimes think he's like it. I think he likes it when people tease him. Or he's at least, or he at least likes the attention. I threw my bag over my arm and Drake threw two bags over both his arms and carried two more in his arm, two more in his arms. And he had dropped the keys in his attempt to carry the entire luggage, so I grabbed it off the ground, looked at the car, locked the car, and headed towards the door. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. So, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Um, Aunt, um, Jay's Aunt Linda and his sister are going to think about when they first meet Drake. I mean, the sister kind of knows, but is finally meeting, meeting Drake after, you know, they've been in school forever. For quite some time. Let me know in the comment section below. And also, um, do you pack like a girl? Do you pack a lot of stuff whenever you go somewhere? Me, I used to. But for me, my main necessities are my laptop, my charger, my iPod, my uh, my iPod charger, my phone, my phone charger, a pair of head well, um, sleeping headphones, um, a pair of sunglasses, clothes. And then my story. I don't know if that's a lot of stuff, but it seems it's not really a lot of stuff when you put it in perspective. It's like a backpack and then a small duffel bag. And actually, my duffel bag is actually right here, which I need to, which I need the, you know. So this is the duffel bag I used last week. 
It has many AMI, it has a whole bunch of music notes all over it, and it's in red. I don't like red, but eh, whatever. But yeah, um, that's the duffel bag I used last week, Friday, when I went to, when I went to, back to where I, uh, where I originally lived. And then Saturday I was at my cousin's wedding, which it was so cool. It seemed just like yesterday, Jessica, his, her, um, his, um, Jessica, my brother, my cousin's fiance. Jessica is the is the bride to be, and she. It seems just like yesterday she was just joining the family. But yeah, so I have, so I gotta go. I hope you guys have a great day, and until next time, gay is okay, just ask the GSA. Mwah.